in the storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. That was so surreal. Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. 
Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture I can't believe I still have this. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. <laughs> of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to give- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. In your textbook- I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century, guys, but I like it old school. In the Everyday Heroes contest, I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody in class is turning in a photo. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. I'd like to be consumed by your work. I just really. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump. Of Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. On a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this project. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious.
You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. Welcome to the real world. That's cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special oh, picture. Yeah. They're just getting ready. This mess wants everybody to see how you guys agree. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of you.